Halo TV show. The reviews are in and critics are comparing the series to The Mandalorian. There's also some woes on Halo Infinite side of things right now. Not to pile on Xbox here, man. What what are we doing? We're going to talk about Halo. This also really sucks. Uh, so... First of all, Halo TV show, the reviews are in and critics are comparing the series to The Mandalorian, but not in a good way. Uh, mm -hmm. I've seen it called The Blandalorian because it's <laughs> very bland. Um, so the video game adaptation stars Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief, who removes his helmet quite regularly in the show. There is images that have released of it. I've seen it. I don't understand why they did that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mandalorian comparisons revolve around a plot that sees Master Chief having flashbacks to his past questioning that he knows or what he knows and embarking on a journey with a teenager named Quan. Rich homie Quan. Uh, and the series is currently sitting at 63 on Metacritic, which is not great. No. So that's what I got for you about the show. I'm not going to be watching it. I'm not interested in, in the lore of Halo or the story mm -hmm. of Halo. The gameplay is great. But that being said, Josh, uh, there's also some woes on Halo Infinite side of things right now. What do you want to talk about there? Yeah, not to pile on Xbox here, man, but do it. What what are we doing? He's about can, to go we, sicko mode. can we ask ourselves that? Can we just stop and ask what are we doing? The Halo show clearly and I mean, when when fans see this, dude. I'm already telling you right now, my gut is like, it, 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 you're going to get torn the fuck apart. You're going to get torn apart, right? Infinite, dude. We liked Halo Infinite. It's a very good game. It plays really, really well, right? Multiplayer side. So we're talking about specifically. The game when it works, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, when it, that's a whole other thing. The game came out, had a red hot start. You know, we were playing it. Everybody was playing it a lot. Really positive responses from critics in the community. Um, but now, Brett, Halo Infinite is effectively dead. And there's a few reasons behind this, but just to give you a metric, <laughs> currently, the game has, now this is according to the Steam database, has an average of only 5,000 players. Now, to be fair, this doesn't include console players, so that's that's fair. 5,000 players on one of the two platforms where your title is released. First party, Halo, Microsoft, 5,000 players. That's a joke. We haven't played it in what feels like months, correct? There's no reason to play it. Right. So why? This begs the question why. First of all, 343 hasn't introduced any new content. They haven't expanded it. No new maps, no new game modes outside of reusing the same events over and over and over again. We've seen the just, Fractured Tenrai event, what, 13,000 times at this point? We're just getting delays, that's all. The Battle Pass blows, right, has the leveling was an issue. First it was too slow, then it was too fast, and it's not really worth it. You know, I finished the Battle Pass, you finished the Battle Pass too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, not worth it. The length of the season is like 18,000 years long, right? It does. It's still going on. It doesn't end until May, season one. Yeah, and with the fact that the Battle Pass doesn't go away when the season ends, mm -hmm. you know, you could easily make the seasons way shorter because it's not like once you end the season, the Battle Pass is gone. Right, which is a content. great thing, but yeah, it's so long, right? You're giving people more time to finish the Battle Pass that they don't need. They don't need that time to finish it. They can always finish it anytime. You know what I mean? It, it goes right. on. So all the multiplayer game modes only had a few maps. They don't have custom game modes, no Forge, and that no co-op for the campaign, which is a whole separate thing. Community creations have always been part of the lifeblood of Halo, right? That's why Halo 3 multiplayer has more concurrent players right now than Halo Infinite does. That's why Halo Reach has more concurrent players right now than I Halo Infinite Master does. Chief, I think Master Chief, Master Chief Collection off. has like something like, what is it, like 5,000% more players or something like that? There was yeah, it's, it's like it's ridiculous, dude. And back in the day, Bungie launched these games, right? Now, they were not live service games. Maybe that's part of the issue. But they launched these games, and they didn't have content for a while. But the community creations swung and tided people over until they had that content. So Halo Infinite comes out, right? And they're like, oh, we're going to launch it early. 
right? And you're, we're thinking, oh, shit. Well, then this game must be really ready to go. And then nothing. Like a fart in the fucking wind, dude. Nothing. What are you doing? You, you didn't have a plan, right? Your game is dying. And you are a live service, free-to-play game. People are not loyal, dude. They will go somewhere else. You have no player base. It is dying. Now, that's not to say that they can't recover from this, but this is ridiculous. 343 needs to never, ever make another thing for Halo or Microsoft ever again. If I was Phil Spencer, they'd be the fuck out. Your contract gone. Everybody fired. You fucking have failed several times over. You're done, dude. They're finished. You had no plan. And the fact that Xbox allowed this to happen? You're also done, Xbox. You need to get a fucking grip on your studios because this is not good. That's it. I agree with everything you just said. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Haptic Intel. Did you do it? Subscribe right now.